Now we're ready to look at another aspect of piecewise functions, and that is creating our own piecewise linear functions. Now we can create all sorts of piecewise functions, but we're going to stick with linear functions today, where each piece can be represented as a line, or it's part of a line segment. The first example we'll look at will be one where we're given three points, and we're going to create a piecewise function that connects these three three points with two linear pieces. Now perhaps the three points are given to us in a table of values where we have our x's listed, 1, 3, and 6, and the corresponding f of x is listed. Let's say that's 2, 1, and 1. We're going to go ahead and graph those because that's going to make it easier for us to determine our piecewise function. So I've graphed the point 1, 2, the point 3, 1, and the point 6, 1 and we're assuming that those values were given to us in a table. The goal of our piecewise function is to figure out a way to approximate the values in between these known values. So we're going to draw a line that connects the point 1, 2 and the point 3, 1, and then we'll draw a second line that connects the point 3, 1 to the point 6, 1. So those are our two pieces. We need to figure out the equations of each line, so let's start with the orange line. We need to know the slope or find the slope between the point 1, 2 and the point 3, 1. And to do that, we take the difference in the y values and divide by the difference in the x values. So determining that, that difference, we find that our slope is minus a half. Now using the slope minus a half, and let's say the first point on our line, we can use the point slope formula of a line and find that we have y equals minus a half times x minus 1 plus the quantity 2, which is our y component. Distributing the minus a half through and combining terms, we see that our line is y is equal to minus a half x plus 5 halves. Now we don't have to go through the same exact method to find the equation of our green line because we notice, looking at our graph, that every x value in between 3 and 6 has exactly the same y value, so this line is the equation y equals 1. The last thing we need to do is decide where are we going to put x equals 3. Are we going to put it with the orange line or are we going to put it with the green line? And for the sake of our example, we'll go ahead and put it with the orange line. So our piecewise function looks like f of x is equal to minus a half x plus 5 halves if 1 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 3, or it's equal to 1 if 3 is less than x, is less than or equal to 6. So notice I have the equal sign for the 3 on the top piece, but not on the bottom piece because we don't want to have 3 represented twice in our function. In this case, because the two lines connect at the point 3, 1, that equal sign can be a, could be on either piece. Now we can use our piecewise approximation to our function and find values in between on the interval from 1 to 6. So let's say we wanted to approximate f at the value x equals 2. We would determine that 2 is between 1 and 3, so we need our top line, the orange line, to approximate that value and we get f of 2 is equal to 3 halves using our orange line equation. If I wanted to approximate the value of f at x equals 4.5, well, I'm going to note that 4.5 is a value that lies between 3 and 6, so I need to use the bottom or the green line for my approximation, so I see that f of 4.5 is equal to 1. So this was a relatively straightforward problem with only two pieces, but we could easily expand this to have many more points on our curve connected by multiple straight lines. We can also do something very similar by adding more pieces to a linear approximation where instead of points, individual discrete points that we're connecting, we can actually have a curve that we know something about and we're trying to approximate this complicated curve with straight line pieces so that it's easier to evaluate, for example. 
So let's start by just doing a straight line approximation or a linear approximation with five pieces. And what I've done in selecting five pieces is, is I'd make, I've made sure that I've gotten key things like the peaks here and here and the valleys and then the endpoints. So I've just hit some key characteristics of my graph and created straight lines that connect them. So on the whole, that's a relatively good approximation for what's happening with my curve, but I see that in certain areas, my approximation can be kind of far off. So a way that we can do um, get a better approximation is to just create more straight lines in between the lines that I've already have, or just create a whole nother set of straight lines. So in this particular graph, the orange graph, I have 12 straight lines that I have drawn in. And I see that it hugs my blue graph, the function, much better. So now, while I have a better approximation, I have more pieces to keep track of. So it's trade-off. How close are we to our graph at different points may mean that we need to have a lot more pieces to our piecewise function, which could make it much more complicated to write out than what we have with our two and three piece functions that we've seen so far.